In the sea urchin, before a sperm can fertilize an egg, it must first penetrate the egg's outermost barrier, the jelly coat. When a sperm touches the coat, it begins a process called the acrosomal reaction. In the first step of the reaction, the sperm's plasma membrane and acrosomal membrane fuse together, releasing acrosomal enzymes onto the egg. These enzymes are hydrolytic and begin to digest the egg's jelly coat. A thin extension called the acrosomal process grows out from the sperm to meet the vitellin envelope. The acrosomal process contains actin filaments that lengthen through a process of polymerization. The acrosomal process is covered by proteins called bindin that attach to the receptors on the egg. The receptors of the eggs of one species only recognize the bindin proteins on sperm of the same species. That is, the interaction is species-specific. The binding of the sperm to the egg completes the acrosomal reaction and allows the sperm's plasma membrane to fuse with that of the egg. After fusion, sodium ions flow into the cell. This sudden influx changes the polarity of the egg's membrane so that the interior is positively charged relative to the exterior. The positive charge prevents other sperm cells from fusing. This change in polarity is the fast block to polyspermy. The fusion also triggers the egg to release a wave of calcium ions from intracellular stores into the cytoplasm, beginning at the site of sperm entry. The calcium activates the egg and initiates both development and slow block to polyspermy. During the slow block, cortical granules fuse with the plasma membrane. During the slow block to polyspermy, the membrane polarity goes back to normal. The contents released from the cortical granules include enzymes, some of which break the molecular connections between the vitellin envelope and the plasma membrane. Other enzymes remove the egg's bind-in receptors. The chemicals released from the cortical granules cause water to flood into the vitellin envelope by osmosis, raising the envelope from the plasma membrane. Other chemicals harden the envelope, now called a fertilization membrane, and prevent additional sperm from entering. To bring the nucleus of the sperm into the egg, the egg produces a fertilization cone. The cone surrounds the nucleus and draws it in. Once inside, the haploid nucleus of the sperm eventually fuses with the egg's nucleus to create a single diploid nucleus of the zygote.